Let's get started. As we've done before, there are many different options. I like the tabloid option, but what I want to do is I want to change it so that the orientation is going to be more landscape. So I want to have it have more length going horizontally. I have the Essentials Classic layout, and in this Essentials Classic layout, um, I have all of the elements that I'm going to need to work with here. Right now, the workspace that I'm in is CMYK, and this is well if I want to print it out on a traditional color printer, but I'm working with the digital document, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my color mode is going to be RGB color. Then as far as the reference document, the document that I'm going to be referencing that I'm going to be using to trace and create this uh, poster, I need to insert that there as well. We did the same type of thing last time where we took an image and we went to file and place and then we placed the image that we wanted to work with. So what I'm interested in in this case is the ability to kind of focus in on the actual horn player and then I'm going to click the mask button. While using the mask, by clicking on the mask option, it's going to ask me how do I want to adjust the mask. And the way we think about a mask is that you have the image here, but what we're doing is we're isolating certain parts that we don't want to really look at and that we don't want to have visible in here. So as you look at the layers, you can see there's a clip group and inside of that you see there's what's called a clipping path and there's a link file. The clipping path, if I were to select that, you can see that there are points here. Now these points, these are actually are what I'm going to use to mask out the image. By doing that whole process of going into isolation mode, if you look up here at the top, you'll see that in, you have the layer, you have the group, and then you have the clipping path. And as I'm adjusting these things, this banner up here at the top, it allows me to dive deeper into what's taking place with my image. So what I'm going to do is I want to isolate as much as possible as far as for the trombone player. And as we know before, we were using the pen tool before to be able to put different points there. So I'm going to make a few points around here and I'm going to use very similar to what I've done with the pen tool just to kind of isolate what it is I want to work with here. And I'll speed this part up. So I have what I like here as far as the mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out to the layer here. You can see what's happened is most of what it is that I had here before was cropped out. So I'm going to select this image, take the opacity down a little bit, just so I can have the ability to trace over it. In this case, what I'm, doing, I'm just going to lock it. And this is going to be for tracing. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to place a layer below here. And this layer is going to be just so I can have the background as a different color. And then I have my tracing layer. And I'll create the, another layer just for the artist himself. And then from there, let's zoom in and we can kind of get started. So the way I want to do this here is I'm looking at the image. And I looked at and see that there are multiple pieces here. There's the first piece is going to be the trombone. Then, of course, you have the artist and you have the clothing and such like that. And it's always best to start off as far as just adjusting the contour. I'll do that and I'll speed this up just for make it a little easier. And at the same time as I'm doing this, I'm looking at the color. And I don't necessarily like the fact that it's green. It's not going to make it easy for me to trace. So I'm going to change the color of the outline to black. So now when I do this, you'll see that the line I'm drawing is going to be a little bit better for me to be able to see. Okay, so I have that first image here. And I can fill it in with the with black there just to kind of see what it is that I'm working with here. So I'm going to call that layer trombone. And as I have that part set, I'm just going to go ahead and lock that. And I'm going to hide it just for a moment so I can keep going with the rest of this here. Then I'm going to continue on with um, the contour of, of the person itself. And then I'm going to make another one here. And I'm going to create another portion that's going to be just for the um, the lower arm here and the body here. So I'm going to do the same type of thing. I'm just kind of continue on with the actual shape of the hand there. And I'm just going to create a basic stroke and that's going to be the microphone for the microphone stand. As far as the stroke here, of course, what I can do later on is I can expand it if I wanted to. Because right now, if I like the shape of the stroke, then what I can do is I can go to object and I can go to expand. And it gives me the option if I want to expand the filler stroke in case this is actual stroke. So I want to expand it. Then from there now, this actual stroke that I just created now has the four sides to it. So basically, you can make a stroke and make it thicker. And then from there, you can expand it and make it out to what it is you wanted it to be in the first place. 
I can take that layer that I had, which is my tracing layer, and I can reduce that. And I can see that now, as far as what I want to work with, I have a pretty good idea. And now I can take these objects, make them larger, or smaller, whatever it is I decide I want to do. Now, as far as the background is concerned, I know what I want to do as far as my background color. Um, basically, with that, what I would do is I would just create a simple, um, simple shape. Something like this here. Okay. And then that's the the look that I have going on here now now you have the upper body and the lower body I'm going to select the lower body and I'm going to fill that in and I can see that that part is going to cover in there and also at the same time the upper body take that part and I'm going to fill that in as well so I think what I'm going to do in this case as far as the design is concerned I like the, the idea of the trombone here make it more of like a a 50% gray here a little closer to that and as far as that I have that that trombone and go into the color guide and from here maybe I decide that I like this as my main color and from there I can go into a monochromatic which basically means I'm using one specific color but I have different tones of it or at the same time maybe I'm just going with the different shades of it but maybe I decide I want to do something based upon a monochromatic theme and then as far as the glasses are concerned I'll take the color from the trombone and have that on the glasses and kind of modify it a little bit more And now, as far as the adjustment of what I have here, and I'll probably play around with this a little bit more, but it's pretty much to what it is I want to do as far as for this design. Um, like I said, there's always more that you can make modifications to and such like that, but I'm pretty satisfied with it um, for now. And like I said, I'll probably make some more adjustments before the final piece. But after you have the that part together, and then you decide as far as any type of graphic or anything you're going to place on top of there, Again, minimalist, so you want to keep within the same type of scheme here as far as your font. Um, I'm a big fan of working with them, Arial Black as a font. So I think that one works really well. But again, as we've done in the previous tutorials, you can pick whatever type of um pick whatever type of font you want to work with. And there you have it. As far as creating a minimalist design inside of Adobe Illustrator, what we've done is we've gone from a original graphic, which is the what we had on our tracing layer. And then what we did is we added the multiple components to this layer in order to create the color for the instrument. Then we added a background. We added text. And this is your basic minimalist design. I'll probably make some more modifications to it, but I wanted to show how you can create that using the different tools that we've been working with over the past few tutorials. One being the pencil tool, also the pen tool, working with shape tools, working with different types of pathfinders where you can actually begin to merge different pieces together and really just having fun with it that's what it's all about having fun and enjoying the process and as you can see what I've done is relabeling the layers here just so that are easily identifiable if I need to make further modifications and what we've done is we've gone from an image which included the original tracing image we masked it out and decided to go with a specific color scheme and working with the vector tools pencil tool and other ones to create what you see here and last but not least we want to make sure that when we save we save our original illustrator but also at the same time we export the file as a PNG document hit OK and then from there we're all set and hopefully this has been beneficial to you and I wish you the best as you continue to create digital masterpieces and throughout the courses that you'll be taking thank you for watching and until next time take care hi everyone Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.